I'd like to start out by giving a big shout out to my buddy Kurt. Uh, he just bought me a new microphone. He said, I'm tired of not being able to hear what you're saying in videos. <laughs> I've got that comment a lot. So a big thanks out to you. Uh, the video at hand, I'm gonna talk about this $1 knife that I got at a gun show. So the knife in question is <laughs> this little Imperial, okay? It's real close to like uh, a Swiss Army knife, a Boy Scout knife, your standard four blade, uh, us knife, demo knife, a lot of different things you can call them. It's got a sweet crown on it, which means it's like Imperial. Uh, <laughs> the thing that caught my eye right off the bat was it's carbon steel. So when we're looking at knives, especially in gun shows and stuff like that, we can take a look at it and how can we tell it's carbon steel? Most of the time because it's got rust on it. Okay, that's a real good sign that it's carbon steel. This one, Imperial from Ireland. It's gotta be, if it's from Ireland, it's gotta be good, right? So I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. So the blade, I sharpened it up and uh, I don't have much hair on my arm, but You can see that it shaves the hair right off. So, sharp, check. I got just uh, some rear willow here. Shavings, you bet. How about some scrapings, okay? That's where I take my knife at 90 degrees. Yep, got some scrapings there. Why do I want to make scrapings? So that I can use my fire steel and then I can light them up. If I can find my fire steel. There it is. So on this knife there's also an awl. AWL, some places you'll hear it called a reamer too. But actually it's an awl, it's for drilling holes. So this is a brand new fire steel too, it's one I just made. So it's gonna take a little bit to get her going. So this little tiny pile of scrapings I have right here. Well, I'll light my pad on fire is what I'm gonna do. There we go. Now I wanna light too big a hole in my pad. So the two main things that I want this knife to do, it'll do. What else will it do? So, the awl is also for drilling holes. Now you gotta be careful with this. You don't wanna put sideways pressure on it because that's exactly what'll happen. All right, so kinda put it at an angle, use it to drill, and what it should do is clean out the hole as you're going through, okay? So you can see how it's taking those shavings, just removing them out, and that's because of the blade shape. Hole, clean through, okay? Not too bad. A couple of the other tools it has on it, your pretty, pretty standard ops, right? It's gonna have a can opener, which will open cans just fine. Skeeters are coming out. A screwdriver, a screwdriver, and a bottle opener. Okay, has a lanyard ring on it, and this one, well, actually, if you pull on it real hard, will come out. I had to bend it to get it back in there. Okay, but it was a dollar. And I like this knife so much that there was another one next to it, and I bought it for a dollar also. <laughs> so I got two knives for two dollars. Now, are these things going to last a lifetime? Probably not. Will they last me uh, a trip in the woods? Sure, you bet. Can I keep one in the vehicle for a knife that I don't care if it gets lost or stolen? You bet. Will it still cut? Will it still scrape fire steel? You bet. So keep an eye out for things like this at gun shows. A lot of times uh, these dealers don't know what they have. They think they do, okay, but they don't. I bought some really nice World War II pocket knives that were unmarked that they didn't really know what they were, and I ended up giving them to a buddy of mine. So. Keep an eye out for stuff like this. Uh, dollar knife could last you for a good long time.